this is directed after the past epi previous episode. In the previous episode, I did the things that I did in the previous episode. But in this episode, I'm going to do the things that I didn't do in the previous episode, which is probably going to involve being good at the game. Anyway, how are you doing? Oh, that's really cool. That is the spiffingest thing anyone has ever been in the universe. And that was a really crappy start. Hmm, it's gonna be crappy to get through. Yeah. Oh, look, that little nugget. I knew it. Anything triggers it. Including tiny nuggets. Ooh, look at that! Seems like the pots are being generous today. Today's gonna be a good day! Is that gonna be- is that worth it? I think that- I say that's worth it. And look at that, that's 1,008. Wow. That is a lot of Boonjamins. That is the amount you typically get from being Superman. Although I highly doubt that Superman asks for money. Although he does like to wreck everyone's shit. So I guess that's where he puts his money to directly. Whoa, whoa, oh, so I crashed your house, but I also saved your daughter. Hmm. That's impeccable logic. I don't like the undead. They're super spooky. Ooh, little gem chunks. Look at all them monies. Look at all that money! Ooh, compass. Oh. Why are you selling so many parachutes? You know I can only carry one at the time. Never. You're stupid. You're stupid! I don't like you anymore. I think you should kill yourself. That's how stupid I think you are. That was a crummy throw. That was a super throw. That's a throw that a champion would do. The one thing about the pitcher's mint, which is that brown glove that looks like a climbing glove, the thing with that is that you throw everything directly at what you're aiming at, so it's pretty much a straightforward throw. That's kind of bad if you know how the arc works. In fact, that is, like, really bad. That's like a curse. It's like, well, you're invincible now, but you also can't shit anymore. You're gonna have to hold it up forever. Like, wow! Why would the fuck would I want to be immortal if I can't ever take a shit? And I'm gonna be constantly constipated. Like, what the fuck, man? What the hell kind of deal is that? Are you the devil, or are you just an asshole? I mean, the devil at least gives you something in return, you know? He, like, makes it worth it. But you know... <laughs> You're telling me I'm gonna be bloody with shit. That's like really bad. Why the fuck would I want that, dude? Why the fuck would I want that? I'm gonna get the cape, and if I can, I'm gonna get the climb off. Oh. Sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can have these close back. They're not mine. Oh, you just gotta press the jump button and you'll slowly float down. Really useful if you have issues with fall damage. Superman to save the day! Although he doesn't have a red cape, he has a blue cape. That was worth it. There's a lot of cash down here. Look at that money! It's really good! That's an empty floor. Oh, did you see that? That was a whip with momentum. That was a whip momentum. Or a memento whip. You only have to tap it, he just... Yeah, I'm not holding the button anymore, but he's just going. Because he loves it. Mario! Wait, that's not the game. You... Gotta be... Shit. Look at that cape, it's not even attached to my body anymore. Well, that was great for a start. Oh, I thought I could make it out, but apparently not. That was the stupidest start ever. I should just stop right now and call it a day, but no. I'm gonna be a hero because I found the lady immediately afterwards. I like how two bars of gold individually are worth more than one bar of gold than three bars of gold found together. It's kind of a plot hole, you could say, but whatever. Wow, did I just hit her with that? That must have hurt. Because I really don't fucking like that bitch sometimes. Oh wait, is she gonna be crushed by that rock? I think she is. 
Wow, you are the luckiest skank alive. You know what, I'm gonna ditch the money. I'm gonna need, I need the HP more. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna need those tiny little hearts more than anything else. Aha! I narrowly avoided death. Do I want a machete? I think I do kinda want a machete. I never showed you the machete. This is how a machete works. It's basically much better than the whip because things aren't in, can't be immune to it. Top of that, it attacks twice and it has a pretty dang good angle. So if you like chopping up dudes, get a get a machete and start chopping. It does have a slight delay like the whip, so. Well, now he's dry. There's a reason that enemies bleed, by the way. It's for an item you can get by sacrificing enough dudes. It is an item solely known as the Cabela's Hunter. Nah, it's something like that. Something with a K and an A and an L and a B and a C and a Y. There's also a letter Q in there somewhere, but I really don't give a fuck about the letter Q. I think the letter Q can go suck my dick, because why did we have a letter that we don't ever use? Great. That was great. That was spiffin'. Spiffin' his balls, yeah. There's testicles in that them spiffin'. That, why do I keep starting so poorly? It's like I'm keeping, uh, look, I have 4 HP, I can't die, and then I die. Wait, is that an access way? No, I could bomb our way up over there, but that's kind of a risk. Uh, and that's also a lot of resources spent on just trying to save a lady. Then again, I could just walk my ass over there and... Right on that side of the field. Ah, fine, lady. You get a chance. You get it. You get one completely uncut kosher chance with the Mr. Spelunky. Ooh, she dropped some money. I guess you're worth it in some way. What's with the game offering me both? Why didn't you stop that bullet, you bitch? It's your job to stop incoming projectiles, remember? What just happened? I... Wow. So I threw him, walked into the... Wow. I never like jumping when I'm standing on spikes, it's such a... I feel like suicide, you know? That was a neat jump, that was a... that was a fair jump. I wonder why those skeletons aren't in any way immune to whipping. Despite obviously not being composed of any... I guess that they could be dislodged with the whip, but... Well, it's kind of risky to use science in that one. The science is weak with this one. Just like his ability to not fall to death. Sorry, Sonny, but we just can't have you in our club. You fall to death way too often. Nothing? Oh. It all fell on the ground for some reason. Oh, whatever. Oh, that guy's still alive, I thought. No, no, the arrow deals 2 damage and he has 3 HP. Which is why a single jump with spike boots will kill him. I thought that didn't kill me, but apparently it does. Well, last try. Let's make this one count. Let's make it count. Let's make this one count. This one is going to be the best one in the universe unless the game fucks me over with bullshit like that one really so i kill a snake with a pot with a spider in it then i get a s fuck you game now i have to waste a fucking rope for some useless crap
That was a toss, dude. Can I, like, nudge it in there? Nope, so I'm not gonna risk it. That's just a thousand pop, and I can get 500 right here. Getting much better at tossing rocks, though. Might not seem like it, but I am definitely getting the hang of it. Of this incredibly sophist... No, I'm not gonna risk that. That's costing, gonna cost me a fucking rope. I'm gonna double kill, bro. Apparently not. I'm just gonna get a kill streak. Oh, this isn't Modern Warfare or whatever the fuck these. Oh, my stomach's growling. But it's 10 o'clock. I. Well, it's actually it's 11. But I still, I haven't eaten anything. I have eaten stuff, but I haven't, like. My point is! I have already eaten my breakfast today, and that I already have a stomach growl just really shows that my. I don't, well, that's kind of weird, actually. I mean, I did eat a good breakfast, like a good bowl of cereal, but. Why the fuck am I already hungry? When I haven't done anything and I ate like an hour ago. And I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. I know that much. Hmm. Actually, he's spooking me out a bit. I'm haunted by the hunger ghost. I am the hunger ghost and I say you are hungry now and forever. That's a pretty crappy power. It's not a power. This is actually what I do. Make people hungry? Yes. Wee. I thought it was blee or vla. It can be both. Oh, I'm so good. I am so good. I am so good. You suck dick, and you just died. Dying is the best thing in the world. Actually, it's not. You should consider it right now, you stupid enemies. Hey, have you heard about dying yet, Mr. Snake? No, I haven't. What's it all about? Well, basically, you stick a knife in yourself until it goes out the other side and blood splatters come out of you, and instead of having little stars over your head, you just stop moving altogether. Great! What does this do for me? Well, first and foremost, you'll be out of my way entirely, and I can live my life as a spelunker, in peace and solitude, while you get to enjoy total peace and quiet and a good night's sleep. Hmm, that sounds like a pretty good job. I've been doing this for two months by now. Hmm. And that's how everyone died. I like how this game somehow knows which direction you're gonna come from, and that it built this little jump a jig on it. So that you can always... I guess that's sort of... that's much more basic coding, sort of a fix em up or whatever. Oh, I'm pretty much spooked. There's a lot of loot up there. That was... that was really... that was gonna shit myself. Sorry, dude, I can't rescue you without blowing you up. So I'm gonna have to leave you there. I know it sucks, but I really don't have an option, unless you want to be dead. But if you die, that's not gonna make my Spelunking experience any more fun. Oh, money. Karma, 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 chameleon. I've actually looked at the lyrics for that song, and it's not karma chameleon, it's karma chameleon. Oh, you come and go. Which I guess is good. I don't know what the fuck a karma chameleon is supposed to do. Like, what's in your job description, Mr. Karma Chameleon? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis, Mr. Karma Chameleon? Oh, I can take that key and get the injured eye. But I do want to dump you downstairs first, Mr. Skullhead. Mr. Rascal. You're such a rascal. But I want my rascal. Are we talking about the automobile or a child? What are we talking about? What, what, what kind of rascal? Good question. We should stop having so many synonyms. Mm, 
damage should I fella? Almost thought I'd die there. But apparently the gods are better than that. Ooh, I got three more ropes. Great. Oh, you get three, not four. The mining guy, I think, doesn't even start with anything. He just starts with his matic that doesn't break, and any matic that he picks up never breaks. In return, he just starts with less health, I think, and also no ropes. The tunnel guy, if you get him. Oh, weird. I don't remember that being that way, so it's probably the latest patch. I mean, last time I played this game was quite a while ago. Oh, it's downstairs. Seems better than jumping over that. With all the monkeys. With all the monkey business. Got my golden job opportunity. Aw, I'll send you a Christmas card next Christmas. Because last Christmas I gave you my heart, and the very next second you took it away. You piece of shit. Come on, dude, I got a sacrifice that needs making. This song is really difficult to judge when this when the guy's coming. Oh, I lost. Well, that's been another few playthroughs of the, or attempts at this, I guess. I gotta run into this out and write a fun description and probably make some times as to when this occur, but I'll see you guys next time on Spelunky or whatever I'm gonna play next. Maybe Elder Scrolls Morrowind. I kinda wanna play that right now. I don't play Dishonored too, but I can't because my computer sucks. Oddly enough, there's a guy. In my classroom, why has a laptop that's bigger than mine that's... Nah, I don't know. I guess there are abilities to make such things, but I don't know how long his battery life would be. Anyway, <coughs> I got a cough, and perhaps get a snack, and I'll see you guys next time on Splunky. Or Spelunky. What the hell's a lunky? Blech. I know a spell in Dutch is like a game. But then a key, it needs an E. And that's over there, so if you get Splunky, hmm. The Splunky. What would that be? Oh, rhyming. <laughs>